Hi everyone, we're going to verify this trick identity and to make it simpler we're going to do um, uh, something to simplify each of these before we find the common denominator. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sine of theta and I'm going to split this up between each piece. So I have sine of theta divided by sine of theta plus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta minus, and now do the same thing for this uh, piece, cosine of theta divided by cosine of theta minus sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. All right, now um, these both equal 1. So what you have is 1, whoops, well, I'll go ahead and put it here, 1 plus cosine of theta sine of theta minus 1 and then the, this is going to be plus sine of theta cosine of theta. Now what happens is the 1 zero out and now uh, if, if you will since 1 minus 1 is 0 I'm just going to erase this to make it look a little better. Save some room here. So now I'm going to find the common denominator. Our common denominator is sine theta times cosine theta. So to re, uh, fix this, I'm going to um, multiply cosine times cosine, sine times sine. Basically, the old denominator is sine, but you have to multiply it by the new, uh, what's missing from the new, the new denominator. So when you do that, you have to multiply both of those, but that's why this method works. So we're going to get cosine squared plus sine squared. Now this equals our Pythagorean identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 and then we have this over sine theta cosine theta. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and multiply this by 1 as well. And so what you're going to end up getting is 1 divided by sine is cosecant theta and 1 divided by cosine is uh, secant of theta which is what we wanted. Uh, you can flip these around if you want. It's the same thing. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.